Hey church, it's really good to be sharing today's devotion with you and I've chosen a verse in Philippians that I want to just share a few um, thoughts with you on today. It's Philippians 4 and it's verses 6 to 7 and it says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. And then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ. This verse is brilliant. The first bit, it says, don't worry about anything. And, and to me, that seems really difficult because worrying is, it's my natural thing to do. But this verse tells us not to worry about anything. But then it says, it tells you how you don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. And, and that is the bit that really, really sticks out to me in, that, in this verse. It, it, it's literally saying, talk to God about anything. And that is the thing that will really help us and it will help uh, me to stop worrying by talking to God about e everything. And what this means is that when you have a thought, talk to God about it. Tell God what you're thinking before your thoughts become a problem, before your thoughts become an issue, tell God and they may never actually become a problem or an issue. And I just think it's that's something that is a really good thing to try and do to, to actually talk to God about everything, everything that's on your mind, everything that you're worrying about, everything that you are thinking about, talk to God. And to be honest, he knows anyway, but by talking to him, that, that's helping you. Because if you don't talk about what you're thinking, your thoughts become like trains and they take us somewhere. And by telling God about that thought, you, you can prevent yourself from going to a really unhealthy place in your mind. So sometimes I, I'll try and go to sleep at night, but so, as soon as I do that, my head is so full of thoughts and worries. And before, before I know it, I, I can be panicking and just, just really stressed out. And then I just can't sleep. But by doing this, by talking to God, as soon as those thoughts come in your head, I can I can totally prevent that and have a really, really good night's sleep. And then then I'll, I'll experience what the verse then says later on. It says, then you will experience God's peace. And it says that that peace is a peace that we just can't understand. And, and I want to experience that peace. Um, and another thing that I've noticed in this verse is that as well, in, as, well as telling God our thoughts, it says that we should thank him for all he's done. And, and I, I think it is really, really important that we thank God because it shifts our focus on our circumstances. It shifts our focus from what's going on onto God. And he is bigger than any of our circumstances. And, and it reminds us as well, when we start thanking God for what he's done, it reminds us of what he's done. So that causes our faith to grow. Um, and I really just want to encourage you today to thank God for who he is. Thank God for what he's given you. Thank God for the people that he's put in your life. And I think sometimes when you start thinking about stuff like this, you actually realise how much God has done. And, and thank God for, as well, what he's going to do. Thank him that he's going to give you everything you need. He's going to bring that healing. He's going to bring that um, breakthrough, and I think by doing this every single day, that that that'll just really help us not to worry. Um, and then when we practice these things, when we do these things, that amazing peace that our minds can't understand that it talks about in in the verse when it says His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ. That I want to experience that peace, a, a supernatural peace that I can't understand. Um, and that really is my prayer for you today. I'm going to quickly pray for you before, before I close. God, I just thank you for each and every single person watching this devotion today. And I really do pray today that every one of us will experience that peace, that peace that we can't understand, that peace that will only come from you. God, I pray that we will all experience your peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a brilliant day. Love you all.